Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a swatching video. You guys know I have quickly become a fan of the Purple Professional Gel Polishes and I have a new collection to show you and it is the Completely Collection. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around, keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and let's get started. Alright guys, so let's get swatching these beautiful colors. So I already have the Completely Trendy swatched for you guys because I actually purchased that in a different um, haul video. So it is a deep red, it's really nice, great coverage, two coats, two thin coats, and it is very, very nice. And I have done them on both matte and shiny because you guys know I like to do both matte and shiny so you can see what they look like. So I will be swatching them on two swatch sticks. Again, and I have mentioned in the past on other swatching videos, if you wanted to, you could do matte on the back side and shiny on the top. I like to do both because my clients do like to put them on their fingers like this to test out the colors. And it's a little harder to do with the back like that. So let's get swatching. Right, so here we have Completely Obsessed P2127. Gorgeous, gorgeous red. I have used this one so much this week, you guys. It's probably my most used color this week, if not within this whole month. <laughs> um, well, not month, I shouldn't say, because I only got it a couple weeks ago. But it is a one coat coverage beauty. You really only need one thin coat. It goes on so perfectly. Um, I usually do two coats just to make sure, but literally that second coat is really almost so thin, it's non-existent. <laughs> Look at that coverage, you guys. How pretty is that? And that shimmer in there is so freaking gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a second coat just to show you guys how minimal of a layer you really need. And I have done it on a few clients and I have just looked and had them hold their nail at several different angles to make sure there's no shadowing. And if it is good to go on that first coat, one coat is it. All right, into the light. All right, so the next one is P2128. This is completely in love and it is a green. Again, another one that I have been using a ton of in this last week. Now this is for sure a two coat coverage one. Um, because it is a little bit slightly sheer on that second, uh, excuse me, on that first coat. But other than that, it is gorgeous. It's just as shimmery and sparkly as the red, and it is a perfect Christmas green. Christmas green. So here we go. That is the first coat. So you can see there's just a little bit of shadowing just kind of up on the top there but that second coat will completely finalize it and make it absolutely perfect. All right, so just going in with that second coat. Now these gel polishes are quite thick, so I end up using a detailer brush when I am going around the cuticle area or the proximal nail fold area because these brushes, um, they're rounded at the head, which is nice, but because the gel polish is so thick, it really makes a fat brush. So it's hard to get into that um, proximal nail fold area. So I just go in with a detailer brush and I don't find it difficult at all. It happens really, it goes through really quickly. I wish it would focus better. Oh, there we go, that's better. Look at how nice that is, you guys. And the next one is P2129, completely free. And this is a beautiful purple. Look at that. So stinking nice. I absolutely love the coverage of their gel polishes. Not just this collection, all of the collections. Um, the viscosity is really nice. I absolutely love these, you guys. Like, look at that coverage on one pass. It is so freaking pretty. And the shimmer in this collection is just so nice. Look at that sparkle. All right, so that's one coat in the light. 
All right, so let's go with that second coat just to finalize. Again, very thin coats because they are very, very pigmented. Now, I have had clients come back because, as you know, I've done two other collection swatches as well. And um, that was for the My Collection and the Enjoy Collection. And I have had clients come back and let me just tell you guys, no chipping issues whatsoever. So I am really, really becoming, um, I'm just going to do a second coat on this other one as well. This company, um, this brand of gel polish has quickly become a favorite of mine. I don't know that I will continue purchasing Madame Glam unless they come out with something that is just phenomenal and I absolutely need. I think I am going to be gravitating towards this brand simply because I can buy it in Canada. I don't have to worry about duty or exchange rates or any of that stuff. And it's amazing, amazing product. All right, guys. So the next one is called a completely crazy and it's P2130. Now I kind of feel like they should have named the green one, maybe completely crazy and this one completely in love because it's pink, but I'm sure they had their reasons. And it is a very bright, I would say, fuchsia type of pink, magenta, more fuchsia, I would think. And it is gorgeous. I have not used this on anyone. But you guys, these colors absolutely remind me of the Christmas decorations that are kind of like those vibrant purple, teal, pink um, colors. And look at this again. You guys, I guarantee you, you could do one coat of this if you just applied it really, really well and really smoothly. Look at that coverage, you guys. It's phenomenal. I cannot get over these gel polishes. Like, freaking phenomenal. There's just a little bit on the side here that I missed. But other than that, amazing. Look at that. So, so pretty. So now keep in mind that they are really quite thick of a, a viscosity. So when you are applying them, you do have to work a little bit slower. I know I showed this in one of my other videos that if you go too fast, you're going to get what I call skid marks. So if I just went like that, well, it's kind of harder to see on this one, but can you see all the little bit of rippling that happens? That's because I moved so quickly. When you have a thicker viscosity um, product like this, you just have to move a little bit slower. And you guys, I literally did not need that second coat on this one. I'm just doing it to show you the skid mark situation. <laughs> but it, once you get the product on and you have the whole nail covered, then you can kind of move a little bit quicker and just move things around a little bit. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is the amount of um, shimmer that is in this. I did not find that my client's nails when I used the red and the green in particular were bumpy at all. They really, really just lay and self-level very nicely. And the last one is called Completely Friendly P2131. It's a little deceiving from the color on the lid because I thought it was going to be a purple, but um, no, it is a gorgeous gorgeous blue it's almost between a little bit of like a cobalt blue primary blue it's I don't even know you guys it is freaking beautiful I wish I would have used this um earlier in the season for winter nails and I may still have clients who want to do winter nails coming in January so let's try this because I have not used it again like it's almost satisfying swatching these because of how pigmented they are when they go on it's just like it's so satisfying. So this one, as you can see, is a little more transparent. So definitely going to need two coats. It's very similar to the green one. It's just got that little bit of transparency, but two coats coverage will be absolutely phenomenal. Now, something else that I wanted to mention, I'm just going in with my second coat here, is that this gel polish cures with a very wet tacky layer. It's not sticky. I mean, it's sticky, but you know how like you can usually stamp directly onto say something like a Madame Glam gel polish, you can stamp right onto it. These you cannot. It's almost like it's very slippery. Um, it's not sticky. I don't think that it would work for transfer foils. I haven't tried it yet. But one thing that I notice is that when I'm doing any type of stamping or even hand painting, because the color almost bleeds a little bit into the hand painting, I'm just going to get this into the light. 
You do need to wipe that um, dispersion layer before you go ahead in with your art because like I said it either doesn't stick with a stamp because of the slipperiness of it or the hand painting will kind of bleed into that color so say I was doing a white snowflake on that blue nail it would kind of bleed the blue would kind of bleed a little bit into that white and it almost starts to spread a little bit like a um, looming gel so not obviously that intensely but it does start to spread so again, keep in mind when you're going to be doing any type of art on top of these, just give them a light wipe with some alcohol. Don't scrub it because you don't want to be like removing a bunch of color or anything. Just give a little bit of a wipe to get that sticky residue or that wet residue off. All right, you guys, so here they all are in their glory. They look phenomenal. I used the Purple Professional Matte and Shiny also. You can see this one, I kind of went a little too fast and there's a few little kind of areas that didn't really get covered properly by the matte, but I am rushing today because I have some other things that I have to do. So now if I wanted to do, say, a comparison um, oof I don't even know if I have anything to compare them to so this is the enjoy collection so there's a purple in there that I could slightly compare it to but this one definitely has more of a pinkish purple whereas enjoy your award is definitely more like I feel like a dusty purple and then the enjoy your life which has also been extremely popular which is sort of a raspberry um, pearlescent kind of color um, that's really nothing to compare to I have a couple of reds um, that are the brighter reds I have beach heart and I like lipstick and I would say yeah they're not really the same color as the completely obsessed one um, now my French Bulldog is kind of similar I guess I could say to completely crazy but my French Bulldog is definitely more on the red side. Um, yeah, I guess my Pincher is kind of similar to that um, completely crazy, but without any kind of sparkle. So these are really, really nice, you guys. I cannot say enough how much I am really enjoying using their gel polishes. I absolutely love everything about them. The only thing I am not 100% in love with, I would say, is the brush but I don't know if it's necessarily the brush or the fact that the brush doesn't work great with the thicker viscosity gel polishes because when I used it yesterday I used um, the I like lipstick red and they have the same brushes but because the viscosity of the I like lipstick is a little bit thinner it doesn't have all that shimmer and sparkle in there um, I was able to use the brush a little more easily so I don't know that it's necessarily the brush or just the combination of the brush and the viscosity of the gel polish because even if it was a Madame Glam brush it might do the same thing just because it's quite a bit thicker so keep that in mind that some of them are quite a bit thicker but you guys they go on so freaking nice all right you guys so that is it for this video that is it for the completely collection i absolutely love it here's another little close-up look for you guys again i cannot say enough to you guys how impressed i am with these gel polishes and i'm not getting anything for saying this i don't have a coupon code to use i'm not getting a discount i'm literally just telling you this because it is straight facts you guys so i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please share it with someone else and as always have an amazing day